Hello, everyone. Welcome to this very special conversation and interview with Neha Datta. Neha, I am so excited to have you with us because our journeys are very similar as uh, CA, CA uh, students and then finally qualifying after some hurdles. So Neha here is a qualified chartered accountant. She qualified in the year 2021. She is now using all her learnings to help other students. And now she's a social media influencer, a mindset coach, and she's a student mentor with a large community of 2,50,000 students. She has also given various talks across multiple colleges of Delhi University, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, and she is a three times Josh Talks speaker. I'm so excited to have you, Neha, and I'm so inspired by your journey. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much, Meher, for such a wonderful introduction. And I'm super excited for the conversation today. Great, great. Chalo. Then with that being said, let's begin right from the beginning of your journey, because I'm sure there are a lot of CA students who watch your content, my content, who are trying to learn from our mistakes and our tips and tricks. So firstly, I want to ask you is what actually made you take up uh, CA? What was the reason behind it? So I was not passionate about numbers that that's why I got into CA I won't give that answer of course so <laughs> because all of my friends back then were going for CA and I thought like in school times we all feel like it's a compulsion to act according to your friends so if your friends mm -hmm. are doing it I'll also do it so that's how I got into CA and also my percentage in 12th standard wasn't up to the mark actually I okay. scored way too less <laughs> so I thought <laughs> I won't get a good college. So let's get into CA. That's how I got into it. Okay. So the motivation was um, peer pressure. And uh, or do you think it was self-driven? Because you thought that, okay, 12th May, you didn't do very well. So let me prove myself. So was it more self-driven or were you, were you like more influenced by your peers, you would say? I was honestly more influenced by the people around because the uh, result of 12th was announced in uh, May, May approx. Hmm. In the March, mm -hmm. we're done with the exam. In the May, in, it's about result. And yeah. CPT, like CA Foundation right now, that exam used to happen in June. So yeah. I got myself enrolled in the April only, even before oh. the 12th result. So it was okay. more like influenced decision, I can say. Okay. Okay. And uh, honestly, Neha, I understand that you know, when other influences tell you to do something, when it's not internal, then uh, then after a while it burns out, right? It goes away, it fades away. Um, so I want to ask you, like, uh, what kept you going, you know, when you started with the foundation, the CPT? What was, what was motivating you to keep going on the CA journey every day? Actually, I was the one who couldn't clear CPT also in the, not in the first go. Okay. So 100 marks were required and I scored 96. Four oh, marks, no. four marks oh, less than what I used to score. And then I thought, no matter if I got, in, got into it due to peer pressure or anything, whatever mm. could be the reason, but now I am into it. So now I mm. have to complete it. I cannot leave it in between. So that was the only motivation. No. Oh. Okay, that's good. That's good. So you wanted to prove yourself. You want to, you were like, I've taken up a challenge. Let me keep going. So it became a little bit more uh, self-motivation afterwards. Yes. Okay, great, great. And uh, let's talk about the number of attempts because I think this is the question you also must be getting. I also get like, how many attempts did you take to clear your exams? So let's talk about uh, your CA journey from the beginning. Like you said, CPT also it took you more than one attempt. So if you can just break it down so that other people are inspired by your journey as well. Okay, so till the time when I qualified in 2021, before that, I hmm. used to be really ashamed of my number of attempts because people glorify the first attempt CA and hmm. the people with number of attempts, they start to feel I'm dumb, I can't do anything, I'm a failure, how can I fail? So I was hmm. living with all of that in my head. At some point of time, I couldn't even study properly because of this number of attempt baggage thing. And then mm. one day I thought, for how long? I just own it. I took number of attempts. Okay, I took it. At least I, I qualified. So in uh, CPT, I, I cleared in second attempt. CA Foundation, okay. what we call now. Second attempt. So two attempts in CPT. Mm. And then uh, intermediate group one, five attempts. 
okay. intermediate group to seven attempts. Like I was giving both groups since the beginning, IPCC, okay. both groups. Hmm. Hmm. So fifth attempt, I qualified, like I cleared group one and hmm. seven group two. And then uh, CA final uh, group two in uh, two attempts and Very group good. one in fifth attempt. So okay. Um, okay. what made me feel even more bad when I qualified and sat for campus, we hmm. have to fill a form. And they hmm. total your number of attempts, like two attempts in CPT, plus five in IPC group one, plus seven in group two, plus, oh and God. then it was like, oh my God, <laughs> they total your number of attempts. CA finals, and I was feeling that I didn't select anyone, Wow, wow. I had no idea that they totaled the whole thing. I thought, I thought it was just the final. Oh gosh. No. Right from the beginning, the day you entered, registered yourself. Oh my God. So I'm so proud of what you said, Neha, that you decided to own your journey. And I think it's it, it's so important to own our struggles and our challenges because that's what I'll makes tell you us something unique. something interesting. So what yeah. happened? Uh, when I qualified, before immediately before that attempt, people used to write in their LinkedIn bio, first attempt CA. Mm. And I started owning it. Okay, I'm a multiple attempt CA what so what yeah does it make me less CA than you if you are a first attempt CA CA no. is CA so mm. now it's it's like that and people stopped writing first attempt CA in their bio and some people literally wrote multiple attempt CA in their LinkedIn bio people started owning their owning journey. It. that's what make me so proud of what I did <laughs> unintentionally that it gave someone hope now people are yeah. comfortable in owning it I love that. I love that, uh, Neha. That's so inspiring. And uh, owning it is just so important, no matter what you're doing in your career, right? Uh, failures are a part of your journey and, and you should embrace it and talk about it. And I, I love that. So you said the, these were the number of attempts that you took. Can you share with, with us how long was it in number of years? Because I recently got a message uh, saying that, ma'am, I've been doing CA for 10 years now. Um, and should I quit? So when some when I get such an such such a question, I also, you know, I I don't know what to exactly say because I'm not in their shoes right now. So uh, if you can just give us a, a timeline as to number of years that it took you from the start till till you qualified, please. So I got into CA in 2012 and qualified okay. in 2021. Uh, Nine okay. years. Now. Nine years. Oh, wow. So anybody listening, please look at uh, Neha's uh, journey and uh, light at the end of the tunnel, right? right. What they say. <laughs> amazing, amazing, Neha. That's so inspiring. Um, so let's talk a little bit about those nine years when, you know, you were studying um, and you said it, it became a self-motivation thing to keep yourself going. Um, did you do articleship at that time? Where were you doing your articleship? How did you manage um, to study uh, along with articleship, if you can give some tips on that, please. I knew that I won't get articleship in Big Four because of obviously number of attempts matters. They do mm. matter at the initial stage of your career. Even after qualifying, the first job that will be, they'll most of the chances are like that they'll check your number of attempts. So okay. in intermediate also, I knew that I won't get articleship in Big Four. Of course, I I took five attempts in Group One only. Hmm. So uh, I'm from Ghazabad. So I uh, decided to do articleship in a firm here only and that too with a reference. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's fine. That, that wasn't easy. I was living my whole CA journey with a lot of baggage that I'm a failure. I can't do anything. I'm dumb. This, that. So I life with all this. 2021. So I did articleship from a, a mid-size firm only. Not any big four. And uh, I used to manage it. That was pretty manageable because uh, that article ship form was probably like 10 minutes away from my place. So okay. that I, the travel time was saved. And mm. also here's one more uh, myth people have that uh, if you are doing article ship from the big four, only then you can excel in what you are doing. What mm. I feel is if you are working with a mid-sized firm, I was a sole article at one point of time. When you are a sole article, you get exposure of a different, different area of work. Yeah, so you I'm are sure. going to the client place also. You are doing the audit stuff also. So when it's the ITR date, you are doing that also. So you are mm. doing so many things. Accounting yeah. also. So I feel that's a good thing. So if someone feels that article ship will not be able to get big four, mein, that yeah. would be a blessing in disguise. 
go for it yeah yeah i agree i agree you know people always run after the brand uh, the mm-hmm. big brands and i was one of them i was running after the big brands uh, but at the end of the day i think you have to understand what what is it that you want from your articleship as well so i think maybe you got exposure to so many different fields and there was a little bit of convenience involved as well and you said something about uh, getting articleship through referral i think there's nothing wrong in tapping into our networks and getting some help main to kehti hu chacha mama That's uncle what auntie networks for yeah sabki help lo yaar yeah. like this is the beginning of your uh, career and and people will help you if you just you just need to ask them Because... so i think a lot of us a lot of us uh, are shy to ask for help as well so it's okay to reach out to your network for any kind of internship any kind of articleship you know there's there's nothing wrong in that so thank you for highlighting that um that's great so you had that you had that a lot of learning in your articleship you said it was easier because of commute time etc but let's talk a little bit about failure you know you were working and studying and then coping up with failure also like how was your journey dealing with failure you know when you see fail written um and you log on and you keep refreshing and then fail aa jata hai bada bada uh so how did you uh, cope with i know i had a lot of anxiety and uh, stomach mein kuch hota tha but uh, i wanted to, <laughs> i want to learn from you like what was your feeling how did you cope with it how did you jump out of it and start the journey again so when i was an in intermediate like five times seeing fail on the screen was it hmm. easy like your hands are literally shivering Okay, now because when you fail for the very first time, that's the first time. A second time, somewhere deep down you know, <clears throat> somewhere yeah. deep down you know that I'll press the enter and I might see that fail again. So you're yeah. so scared to press the enter also. So I've been through all of those feelings. Back then in IPCC, I was a kid who is so anxious. So I used to be like, "The one of four months didn't lag at the end. One week, I'm in that gum. Me, he will be. How can I fail? Yeah. How can I? So." but uh, in ca final i learned like in the last attempt in, in which i qualified immediately before that attempt also i learned to accept myself accept my failure hmm. so i literally stopped cribbing that it's institute's fault institute failed me instead i started asking where i went wrong yeah. what was my mistake over there so that's how i dealt with it that is a mindset shift which i did because hmm. when we crib and complain we close the door for improvement because i'm just sitting and complaining about every second thing the examiner wasn't good the paper was tough institute failed me my friends didn't let me study my family wasn't supportive either i can sit and crib about the things or i can just accept it and own it take the responsibility nahi ho paya to kahi meri galti hogi when you say it it opens up the door so that's how i learned to deal with the failure ki agar kuch kahi par kuch fail hua hai so probably i need to fix something hmm. so that was my mindset shift i did I love that, and I'm sure you teach your students that now. You know, tuning your mindset and and becoming a mindset coach. That's fantastic. So, you would train your brain to think differently, I guess. Nice. So let's think about the final time that you ended up clearing. Do you remember any thing that you did differently in that attempt? Maybe it was your mindset. Maybe it was the way you were studying. जब फाइनल टाइम व्हेन यू गेव इट एंड यू बिकेम अ सीए और मे बी इंटर के बी टाइम व्हेन यू फाइनली क्लियर डू यू रिमेंबर थिंकिंग ऑफ समथिंग डिफरेंट हैपनिंग एट दैट टाइम आई एग्जैक्टली रिमेंबर व्हाट आई डिड राइट ग्रेट प्लीज प्लीज शेयर विद अस सो इंटरमीडिएट के टाइम पे मैंने चीज ठीक करी थी और फाइनल में भी ठीक करी थी पर इंटरमीडिएट के एग्जाम जब ठीक करके फाइनल में आई ना तब मैं भूल गई कि मैं क्या ठीक करके आई थी तो इंस्टीट्यूट लेट मी अंडरस्टैंड कि वो पहले पीछे ये ठीक करा था अब दोबारा से ये ठीक करता है So yeah. first thing was we keep on listing from a lot of people out there that you uh, need to study from ICI's study material. Yes. And then we are like, ऐसा थोड़ी होता है. Yeah. अपने अपने faculty book से पढ़ेंगे. Paper institute के material से institute ने पूछना है ना question. So yeah. how can you you cannot afford to ignore that material? The questions over there are like super important. Hmm. So first. I fix this thing that ICI's material is literally not less than a religious book for us. So first Bible. thing I fix that. <laughs> yes. Second thing I keep on listening from people that you should write mock test papers and multiple revisions. But then we yes. are like, no, no. When we don't I have time for this. <laughs> I don't have time for this. When I feel completely ready, then only I'll go and write for the mock test paper. And sadly, that day will never come. So you have to make yourself. 
confident enough to appear for the mock test paper. Okay. Second okay. thing I fixed is I started writing the mock test paper because it's mm. as simple as that. If we are just eating and not checking, am I even digesting it or not? What will happen? Mm. I'll mess up my digestive system. So I need to yeah. keep a check on that I'm reading, that I'm retaining, 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 that i am retaining 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 a month before exam a week before exam i'm so anxious my hands are shivering my throat is literally choked hmm i fixed this thing in in my last attempt but whatever happen will happen if i decide to qualify as a chartered accountant i will and if not probably i'll get something else that will be best for me so i started I letting that. go and had faith on what whatever is happening I love that. I love that, Neha. When you're saying these three things, they're in fact actually the three things that I did in my finals. Uh, when I ended up clearing, letting go of the outcome, going through the study material of the institute because I had not done it as well in the previous attempts. Um, and another thing that I did was that I made it a little bit more fun for myself, like the learning. So I made games out of it. You know, I made flashcards. I told my dad to quiz me. I did this me. too. I did this too. Yeah. I forgot to mention. I did this too. <laughs> Exactly. So, just the fun again, a process way. When it became fun and interesting, then I did not like you were saying, didn't care too much about the outcome. And then I told my dad, Papa, this is the last time I'm taking the exams. Hua to hua, nahi hua to, bhai ho gaya bas mera. You know, I tried my best. Um, and uh, and then I had a backup plan that I'll do an MBA, all of that. So I thought of that. And he was like, "Acha chal tu ek baar aur de de bas." You know, that's what he would say. Uh, so I think I think that comes to the mindset again, like letting go, do your best. But then let go. Okay, आगे क्या होता है? One right? thing also I want to mention in it, uh, like yeah. two things. First, as you said, make like games out of it. Yeah. So थोड़ा सा interesting. What we keep on doing is we pressurize ourselves so much. So mm. I started taking it on a lighter note. So जैसे mm. मैंने जो भी पढ़ा, I used to go to terrace, close my books, ऐसे ही walk करते करते कि याद करके देखते मैंने क्या पढ़ा है आज. And that was actually fun. I was doing active recalling while having walk. Yes. On the terrace. अच्छा yes. सा weather और मैं ऐसे recall कर रही हूँ. That was a good thing which I did. And second, पढ़ाई के साथ ना थोड़ा थोड़ा एक हमें एक बैकअप प्लान कुछ माइंड में होना चाहिए सम पीपल से इट्स रॉन्ग इट्स नॉट इट मेनली गिव यू अफ्टी नेट की अगर मेरा ये नहीं हुआ तो देर इज समथिंग दैट विल कैच प्लान बी प्लान बी सो यू शुड हैव प्लान बी दिस वॉट आई विल सजेस्ट I agree. I agree because then again, mindset again, ना then you're not that dependent on the outcome because then you're like so जो भी होगा ठीक होगा तो मैंने कंटेंट राइटिंग में करती थी एंड आई वाज मेकिंग अ 50k समथिंग अलोंग विद माय सीए स्टडीज सो आई न्यू कि आई विल डू समथिंग आउट ऑफ इट सो इट्स ओके तो मैंने फिर प्रेशराइज होकर नहीं खुशी से अपना 200% एफर्ट देकर पढ़ाई करी हुआ तो हुआ द सेम थिंग नहीं हुआ तो कंटेंट राइटिंग में चले जाएंगे अमेजिंग सी सो देयर इज ऑलवेज अ पैशन दैट वन हैज दैट वन कैन टैप इनटू व्हेन समथिंग इज इन वर्किंग आउट गो बैक टू समथिंग दैट यू रियली लव आई लव दैट सो आई थिंक फॉर फॉर from you and from me some of the tips for someone who's failing is all these things that we have just talked about is there final something that you want to say to somebody who may be watching right now and um, you know you want to give them a little push who has failed multiple times in this journey what we are uh, what happens most of the time when we uh, fail in any exam we take it very personal like i am the failure no you are mm. not sometimes Like what happened in CA exams also, the one there was one person who wrote all the right answers, but something happened, so he couldn't score the appropriate marks. So, शायद वो कुछ examiner की side से हुआ होगा या कुछ भी हो सकता है ना. You don't know behind the scenes, so do hmm. not come to a conclusion that I am a failure. You are not. And also, कभी कभी ना exam भी हम ठीक लिखते हैं, पढ़ाई भी बहुत अच्छी करी थी, पर एक number से नहीं हो पाया. I got answer sheet from someone. उनका उन्होंने मार्कशीट भेजी थी अपनी 200 मार्क्स वर रिक्वायर्ड दैट पर्सन स्कोर्ड 199 व्हाट आई से टू दैट पर्सन दैट यू डिडंट स्टडी ऑफ कोर्स दे स्टडीड दिस इज वन मार्क अवे सो सम टाइम इट्स अबाउट द टाइमिंग ऑफ योर लाइफ लक अभी नहीं लक अभी टाइम नहीं था मे बी यू आर गिवन दैट टाइम सो आई फ्लंग दैट 404 400 वाज रिक्वायर्ड टू 800 टू क्वालीफाई आई स्कोर्ड 404 एंड स्टिल कुडंट क्लियर इन दैट अटेम्प्ट 
Oh Still my god. <laughs> oh gosh. It happened just immediately before the covid thing happened. 404 not qualified. Shatter hona chahiye tha mujhe ki main nahi ho payi but then I thought probably something better is waiting for me. And in that time zone when the covid hit the globe I worked on my communication skills. I learned mm. to write, I learned to speak, I learned to video record myself. That's what made me what I am today. So that, that delay was God's protection or maybe a better thing for me. So take it easy. Don't take it to how your nice. ego. How nice. How nice. That's lovely and remarkable. Everybody should have try to have that positive attitude and look at the bright side and remember that something better is coming your way. right better days are ahead of you lovely lovely so let's talk about you know you talked about content creation working on your communication your confidence all of that uh, video recording let's talk about your journey as a content creator as a ca content creator what made you start uh, creating ca centric content and how has your journey been as a content creator okay so i knew one thing ki there are a lot of coaching institutes that provide the academic content and then there are exams so there is a gap in between students mm-hmm. don't know because when you are done with your classes and you are just one month away from exam how to deal the anxiety which you are facing in the in your room sitting with your books so how to deal with that because yeah. i personally suffered from that a lot i used to had panic attacks like my hands were shivering i don't know how to like what to say how to react so i suffered from that personally so i wanted to fix that area for the students and to my surprise i got to know there are a lot of people out there who are dealing with it people hmm. literally when it comes to ca course and maybe competitive exams people are on medications they couldn't sleep at night they are on medications they are clinically depressed people in my workshop came they are literally ki on medication bahut zyada depressed hai life ko lekin what they need to change is perspective so many of the examples which i gave from my life situation to same hi hai na sabke liye same hai fail sab hue hain bahut sare log fail hue hain but how you are dealing with it your perspective needs to be fixed So with this intention in my head, I immediately when I qualified, I was just waiting. कि मैं जब पास होंगी तब अपनी strategy share करूँगी. But now someone like there on social media there are some mean people also. They can come and write. खुद तो पास होई नहीं है हमें क्या सिखाने? Yeah, yeah. So I was waiting for that day कि जब मैं पास हो जाऊँगी तब मैं अपने tip क्योंकि नौ साल मैंने लगाया तो कुछ तो सीखा होगा मैंने उस नौ साल में. Of course, yeah. So when I qualified immediately after like in a week or so, I randomly recorded myself with a ten thousand rupees phone. no uh, idea of what the, what is ring light lighting ever <laughs> i filed my books <laughs> put a phone over there and just said what i wanted to say and that video got 40000 views wow and then wow. i recorded another one another one and one video got 7.5 lakh views and my wow, subscriber wow. base was increasing 2000 subscribers a day amazing wow was crazy i was saying ye kya ho raha hai ye kya ho raha hai yeah yeah wow and it's been a year now चैनल वेरीफाइड हो गया है 100 के से ऊपर सब्सक्राइबर्स चले गए हैं लिंक्डइन पर भी हो गया है अभी 110 के इंस्टाग्राम पर भी इट्स प्रीटी गुड तो बस बच्चों से बात करते रहे आंसर्स देते रहे एंड दैट्स हाउ यू आर एंजॉयिंग इट यू आर एंजॉयिंग हेल्पिंग लविंग इट लव इट लव इट सी दैट्स व्हाट यू वर मेंट टू डू देन यू हैड टू गो थ्रू दैट जर्नी टू बी एबल टू हेल्प अदर पीपल व्हिच इज फैंटास्टिक फैंटास्टिक आई लव दैट नेहा I want to ask you one final question before we can take some audience questions because it is sare questions I can't even tell you. Um, so firstly, let's talk about today's world and you know you have been through hurdles on this um, pursuing this degree and so have I. Do you think um, there is a reason for somebody to choose to become a CA today in today's world? Like, is there any benefit? i might offend some people but okay. i'll, I'll be honest say <laughs> be honest <laughs> but i'll be really honest so when i was done with my C- what we keep on listening when we are into ca hmm. ca ban jao uske baad dekhna ye ho jayega life wo. set hai life set. set hai ye life set hai mujhe abhi tak nahi samajh aaya kaise set hai <laughs> but but this used to happen na like motivational channels over there So I was yeah. like, ठीक है भैया सीए बन गए बहुत अटेम्प्ट बाद अब तो लाइफ सेट ही है आपके टेंशन है. Yeah. So then what happened? Then the reality check came. Hmm. So now it was time for a job, because back then like when I immediately qualified, तब तो कुछ भी मोनेटाइज नहीं था. I wasn't a content creator hmm. at all. So जो भी था जो भी. You were not trying to. 
या यू नॉट ट्राइंग टू लाइक फॉर इट टू बी अ मेन थिंग राइट एट दैट टाइम ओके तो तब वही था कि जॉब ही करूंगी अभी मैं तो कैंपस में चेक करा कैंपस में पहले तो अटेम्प्ट्स की वजह से बहुत सारी कंपनी ने मुझे शॉर्टलिस्ट नहीं करा एंड देन पीडब्ल्यूसी सी शॉर्टलिस्टेड मी एंड देन वन सी ए फॉर्म दैट सी ए फॉर्म इन डेली वॉज ऑफरिंग फोर्टी थाउजेंड पर मंथ एंड आई वॉज लाइक आई एम क्वालिफाइड सी ए गिव मी अ ब्रेक एंड इवन इन द कैंपस प्लेसमेंट इट वॉज लाइक टेन लैक्स समथिंग टेन लैक्स अप्रॉक्स ऑफ कैंपस इट वॉज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स लैक्स Wait, 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 wait. That doing? just a graduate or like an engineer with a master's in engineering or something? Ah, uh, master's nahi kari thi. He completed his graduation and got into job, and then wow. such one job, two job maybe. So it was his third job, twenty five lakhs package. And the same age as you, like same batch. Same age as mine. Oh god. Because my third attempt lag gaye beech mein. I was twenty six when I qualified. Yeah. Or, usne graduation ke baad shuru kar diya. Yeah. उस दिन पहली बार लिखना चाहिए आपकी लाइफ सेट है प्रोवाइडेड कि आपके पास कोई तो स्किल हो या तो आपके टेक्निकल स्किल्स बहुत साउंड हो इधर यू आर गोइंग फॉर योर ओन प्रैक्टिस या फिर आपके टेक्निकल स्किल्स बहुत साउंड है क्योंकि बहुत टॉप नॉच कंपनी आपको हायर कर रही है hmm. पहला प्रोवाइज हो दूसरा प्रोवाइज हो या तो आपकी सॉफ्ट स्किल्स बहुत अच्छी है यू आर सच अ कॉन्फिडेंट पर्सन हु कैन पुट देर पॉइंट फॉरवर्ड कॉन्फिडेंटली उस केस में भी कंपनी हायर करती है क्योंकि मैंने जब इंटरव्यू हम्म Yeah. मेरा जब इंटरव्यू हुआ था तो आई न्यू कि मेरी टेक्निकल स्किल्स बहुत साउंड नहीं है क्योंकि मैंने एज अ सोल आर्टिकल भी बहुत सारे काम करे थे और मुझे पता था कि दिस इज नॉट फॉर मी तो मुझे सारे काम करके पता चल गया था कि डेस्क जॉब तो मैं शायद नहीं करूंगी तो मुझे पता था कि मेरी शायद सॉफ्ट स्किल्स के बेसिस पर ही मुझे जॉब मिलेगी और वही हुआ द वे आई वॉज पुटिंग माई सेल्फ आउट टू इन फ्रंट ऑफ द इंटरव्यू डेट्स वॉट इम्प्रेस इम्प्रेस तो मैंने कहा ठीक है फिर तो ये प्रोवाइज देने चाहिए कि या तो आपकी टेक्निकल स्किल्स बहुत अच्छी है सॉफ्ट स्किल्स बहुत अच्छी है तो आपकी लाइफ सेट होगी या आप फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में सब कुछ क्लियर या फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में क्लियर कर लो सब कुछ एंड देन योर पैकेज इज इज बेटर आई एम गेसिंग राइट इफ योर फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट देन योर पैकेज इज बेटर अरे कैंपस में वो आपको एक्स्ट्रा बोनस मिलता है अगर आपका रैंक का ये या पहले अटेम्प्ट के सीए हो रैंक तो तो मिलता है या या आई एम टू या तो आपने एकेडमिकली बहुत कुछ बहुत ही अच्छा करा है सीए में या फिर आपकी टेक्निकल स्किल्स बहुत बहुत साउंड है या फिर आपकी सॉफ्ट स्किल्स बहुत साउंड है अगर सिर्फ आप ऐसे ही सुन रहे हो कि सिर्फ डिग्री से ना अभी कुछ नहीं होता है ऑफेंड मत होना पर सिर्फ डिग्री से कुछ नहीं आई थिंक दैट्स दैट्स गुड दैट यू आर शेयरिंग द ट्रुथ बिकॉज़ नॉट मेनी पीपल शेयर द ट्रुथ सो दैट्स अ गुड वार्निंग साइन राइट देयर विद अ पिंच ऑफ सॉल्ट गुड गुड अच्छा सो यू आर सेइंग वन शुड डू सीए अम बट रिमेंबर टू डू इट फॉर द राइट रीजंस डोंट थिंक दैट लाइफ सेट है इट कम्स विद ऐसा नहीं होता या हैव योर रीजंस एंड हां हैव योर रीजंस फिक्स्ड great great amazing thank you so much neha those were all the questions that i had for you but i will quickly take a few questions from the audience if that's okay with you um yeah. we can do it as a rapid fire because you spent mm-hmm. a lot of time in okay. the questions in detail um okay i think we've already you've already answered a couple of them let's talk about how many hours of study in a day is required to clear ca inter and ca final in the last attempt which i qualified i used to i like started for 10 to 12 hours i'm no i'll not suggest 16 ghante pad rahe ho kitab samne aur dimag aapka idhar udhar ghum raha hai yeah that doesn't agreed matter. better to take breaks kaise yeah take breaks acche se khushi se padho 10 to 12 hours mein bhi ho jayega okay great consistency and... se padhna <laughs> oh yeah discipline and consistency discipline agreed consistency. agreed um ca versus cfa which one is better in your opinion uh, actually i'm personally not aware of how much time cfa takes hmm. par agar usme kam lagta hai to please go for it 
<laughs> oh gosh but a lot of people struggle clearing cfa also because it's uh the level 2 and level 3 is only once a year so i think any degree is very every degree is different so you have to be very sure of why you want to pursue the, the degree as well have right reason sticks first to sirf duration hai yeah. sirf package dekh kar mat chao yes agreed okay this is an interesting question i have realized that finance and accounting are not my strengths is it the right reason to quit ca How does one manage college with CA prep? I'm not sure. Did you do regular college with CA? Uh, no, you didn't. Okay, so you would. Okay, you were you were learning on your own. Okay, great. So I think, like you said, articleship you were managing with CA prep. Similarly, one can manage college also. Like overthink. How will I able to manage when you get into it? Yeah. Do it. Or if someone else has done it, so surely you will also be able to do that. Agreed. Agreed. Great. Thank you so much Neha that was such an insightful conversation i learned so much from your journey and your positive energy and uh, makes me realize we are quite similar as people so thank you for coming on uh, today and if there's any final thing that you want to say to anybody watching uh, please go ahead and do that okay so there's one like my personal one piece of advice which i literally gave everywhere and want to give to everyone So one piece of advice from my side stop taking advice from everyone around you <laughs> not everyone is meant to give you advice go and That's find right. a reliable source and take advice from them only you yeah. cannot take advice of college from someone who who did uh, who did like become from open learning yeah people who want to go into ca practice take advice from the people in job doesn't even make sense yeah so advice mat lo you know what's best for you You are the only person who know what's best for you. Start asking yourself instead. Oh, I love that. I love that. I hope everybody watching is listening and making notes <laughs> to what Neha is saying. Uh, great. Thank you so much, Neha, for joining us. Um, It's and, a lively uh, conversation at first, and uh, I love the fact that we both have so many things in common. We yeah. think so much similar. It, I swear. That, made it so like smooth this conversation so smooth i just love being here oh Mazaria. thank you so much <laughs> yeah thank you so much uh, neha i will add your social media links uh, in the caption below and people can connect with you but uh, thank you once again for joining me and maybe we'll do something else together very soon for again. sure great okay bye bye everyone bye